In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you some new algorithms to solve the last two edges of a 5x5 cube so that you will only need to apply one algorithm. So you'll see this case, know the algorithm that you'll need to apply, and they'll be solved. So this will save you a bunch of time, well, at least a little bit of time, on solving it. But before I get to the algorithms, I'm going to need to teach you some new notation. The first is X, Y, and Z rotations. So when you see an X move, you rotate the cube along the X axis 90 degrees clockwise. And when you see an X prime move, you do it counterclockwise. And I'm sure you know what to do if you see a 2 after that. And the same goes for a Y or a Y prime or a Z or a Z prime. And then another thing I'll be using are parentheses and brackets. When you see a set of moves within parentheses, that means you're supposed to do those moves at the same time. Like in this algorithm, you see a triple L, and by the way, a triple L move means that you not only grip these two layers, but you also grip the middle layer as well. And then there is a double R move after that. So in the algorithm, you just do this. Very simple. And when you see a set of moves within brackets, that means that same set of moves will be in another set of brackets, like in this algorithm. So you can see there's a double L prime, and then a U2, and then another double L prime, and then a U2. And the last one are what I like to call pointy brackets. When you see a set of moves in a set of pointy brackets, that means those same set of moves are in another set of pointy brackets, except in reverse order. Like in this algorithm, which will be the first one I'll be showing you today. See, these moves, right here, are the same ones over here, except in reversed order. Okay, so knowing that notation will help you a lot. So the first case I'm going to show you here is where these middle edges are swapped with each other. And this color is the same as these two colors, and this color is the same as these two colors. So for this case, you apply that algorithm, which is a double U2, double R2, and then a Z and Y rotation, then a U2, and then a lowercase R2, then another U2, and you bring it back over here with an Y prime and a Z prime rotation. And then it's a double R2, and then a double U2. Very simple algorithm. Now if you see this case where these middle edges are swapped again, but the colors do not match, like this isn't green and this isn't red, then what you want to do is just apply the flipping algorithm. Now I'm going to be doing that a little bit differently than I've shown in my other videos. And I'm going to show it on my 3x3 because these have extra layers and it'll just get in the way. So what you want to do is in R, U, a double L prime, U, R prime, U prime, R. And there we go. It flips this edge piece. And in case you didn't see the flip, I'll do it again. There, so now it's flipped. And it's flipped again. So just do that on your 5x5 five five here. Just like that. And it will be a good habit for you to get into to just not bring this this edge piece down like this at all. After you've solved all the other edges, this will probably just be hanging about somewhere. So don't bring it down like this. Bring it over here and then bring it down. Then you've got these colors matching. So that may take a little practice to figure out, to look ahead that much, but yeah, just keep practicing at it and yeah. Now with this case, again these middle edges are switched with each other, but this time only these colors match, and these two don't. So what you want to do is imagine this is an arrow, and point it at you like this. Then apply this algorithm. You do a triple L and double R move at the same time, then a U2, then a triple L prime, U2, double R prime, U2, X prime, U2, R prime, U2, double R prime, U2, double R, U2, double R prime, U2, double R. And it will solve those edges. Okay, now I'll demonstrate the algorithm one more time. There. 
Now with this case, when you have these two edges grouped and these two edges grouped, you do this algorithm. Double L prime, U2, double L prime, U2, X, U2, L prime, U2, triple L, U2, double R prime, U2, L2. And there we go. Now here it is one more time. There. Now if you see this case where these edges are grouped down here, and these edges are grouped down here, you just do the same thing as before. You apply the flipping algorithm. And also remember, try to group it like this before you even need to apply the flipping algorithm. It'll just make it a little easier. Now with this case, we've got these two flipped edges here, and these two flipped edges here. Now, with these edges on the left side, not on the right, you do this algorithm. Now, what's nice about this one is it has only L moves, only variations of Ls, and then each of those are separated by just U2 moves. So that'll help you in memorizing it. So the algorithm is double L, U2, double L2, U2, double L prime, U2, double L, U2, double L prime, U2, double L2, U2, double L. And it fixes those edges. Now I'm going to do it one more time, except using double L and double L prime, I will be using up and down. And for double L2, I will just say around. And I will just skip saying the U2 moves. So it's down, around, up, down, up, around, down. There, so that should help you remember it. Now with this case, these upper flipped edges are on the right side. Now I recommend that you memorize the previous algorithm first. Then all you have to do is just do the mirror of the algorithm. So instead of L moves, you just do R moves. So if you just remember the up and down sequence, then it should be a cinch. So down, around, up, down, up, around, down. There. And if you ever get a case like this where these flipped edges are on the same layers, then remember you have to do the flipping algorithm or just remember to put them in in this order. Now some of these algorithms can actually be applied on the 7x7, but you just may not know it. Like for this case, is really just this case on the 5x5. So you use, in, in that algorithm, you use just this layer and this layer. So on this cube, you would just use this layer and this layer instead. And so here I will apply the algorithm. There. And this case on the 7x7 seven seven is really just this case on the 5x5. Five five. So you again just use this middle layer as you would use these layers on the 5x5 five five, and then you just apply the algorithm normally. There. And remember you can do the same thing if you have to use the right layer. And with this case, it is also just the same case on the 5x5. Five five. Re remember, I said to imagine this was an arrow pointing at you. So these would be two arrows pointing at you then. But I found there's a strange thing that happens when you apply the algorithm like this. The, the edge pieces, after you apply them, get flipped. So what you need to do is turn it around so the arrows point away from you. And other than that, this algorithm is a little bit tricky, so just watch me do it and follow along. There. And they are both correct. So just remember, on the 5x5, five five, if you have one arrow, have it point towards you. But on the 7x7, seven if you have two arrows, point them away from you. And on to the last case. 
Now this one is also a little bit tricky because you have to do a little bit different moves. So again, these three edges are the same color as those, you know, just like on this cube. Oh, I've got blue instead of green, but whatever. So again, just follow along to see how to apply it on the 7x7. There. All right. I believe that's all I have to show you for the last two edges on these cubes. Hope you're able to solve your cubes now faster and have fun memorizing the algorithms. Bye.